Well, hello. In this video, I am going to show you how to take a mobile portrait video and make it look better on larger screens. For example, I have this video over here. Let me play it. You see this video? It contains uh, a lot of black space on the sides. So it does not look very good. So I'm going to show you how to make it look better using Camtasia Studio. So I'm going to open Camtasia Studio and I am going to import the media file, the mobile recording file right here, this one. After that, I am going to create four new tracks and I am going to rename these tracks appropriately. So now I have five tracks over here. The video original, the shadow a track for blur, a track for left and a track for right. I'm going to explain you how I am going to use these tracks uh, in this video. Don't worry, it will be very simple. So first of all, I'm going to take this original video and I'm going to drag it over here. Okay, once I've done this, I am going down to the left and right and add the same clip over here as well. So in the right one, I am going to add it. In the left one, I'm going to add the same clip again. Let me lock the top clip, the video original clip. Lock the left clip as well. Now, I'm going to select the right uh, track and I'm going to, and I'm going to press the control key. I'm going to move this track to the right as far as I can. So I can actually stretch this video a little bit to fill the dark space. Even if, if you still have empty space, uh, you can stretch this video. And then I'm going to lock this one, unlock the upper layer. And on this layer, I'm going to press control button and move this one to the leftmost side once again. And then I'm going to resize it just like that. Okay, so uh, I will make sure that the left and right track are locked and then I am going to come here to the callouts, to the callouts screen. Okay, so now I am going to add the blur over here. So in order to add the blur, I am going to select this blur effect over here right here when i will double click it you see it is going to be on the topmost layer i am going to drag it down to the blur layer which i created originally for this purpose and i'm going to make sure its length is long enough after that i will resize the blur and i will make it fit the entire background see I believe we are getting where I am going now, okay? Just like that. Easy, nice and simple and like that as well, okay? So now the left and right videos are blurred and only the main video is in focus. You can change the intensity of the blur, but you can only reduce it. You cannot basically increase it. So uh, there, here are a few options about the blur, but they're not very important. So once the blur is here, we got only one step left and that is to add the shadow. So in order to add the shadow, I am going to go to the callouts once more. And in the callouts, I will take this simple rectangle and add it over here. Uh, which before moving the simple rectangle, I would like to resize it so that it is of the same size as the central video, the original mobile video, just like that. And I want it to last long enough. And then I'm going to drag it down to the shadow layer right here. Okay. And in the effects menu on the callouts, I'm going to click shadow. So that is that. So now you see there is this nice shadow behind the video as well. I have used the same techniques in my other video. You can see the link on the screen. So the uh, actual results of this action are shown over there. So I hope you are going to find this video very useful.
<laughs> and you're going to, uh, you would like this video and please let me know if you want me to create some other video if you want to know something else about uh, course creation or computer programming or anything else i would love to create a video for that please subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching have a good day